Hello ladies, I was wondering, out of everyone's collection out there, I wanted to do a video, I was curious, on, uh, out of your whole perfume collection, whatever number that is, mine happens to be, according to Fragrant, it got 146, it says 147, but I have a double of one type of perfume, that one on the right there, it's two different versions. But it's really 146. How many uh, of everyone's collections out there are loves? This is hard. This is really hard because, uh, you know, I'm not doing this to break out and tell everyone the perfume that I love, even though I am. I'm, I broke them out, polished them up, put them out here to show them off, right? That's not the purpose. I mean, I'll list them all. But uh, there they are sitting on the desk, not in the desk in those spaces there. Um, like this one here is my scent of the day, the Poodle, I, uh, Iris Pudra. I was thinking about including that, but <laughs> see, that's my point. So strong likes, everyone has a lot of strong likes and I wear a lot of my strong likes more than my love, right? Depending on everything, but those are my categories down here. Uh, mainly dislike to like to uh, love. So I'm sorry, love, strong like, like, and dislike. You know, and then I throw in. I can have. I can take some of these out here, and just leave you the strong likes. Maybe I can do that. I mean, just right off the bat, it, it would be. Oh, whatever. And then there's hate, right? I bet you can hate and love a fragrance, right? Say you loved one. You can't hate something unless you loved it at once. And then uh, you lost uh, something, like a person. And then you met another person that wore the same thing. You hate that, maybe, whatever. But, um, so, if you guys want to play along at home, and I hope some of you guys will, some of you guys, there's no way you're going to be able to do it because you guys are nuts. You have way too many. I don't even know if you track them at all. You have them in your head written down. But I have them on Fragrantica. So it's really good, right? Just have them all lined up according to house. And uh, it tells you how much and what I wore. So I go off of that, fish out my bottles, put them on here. Uh, don't get on me with uh, the low quality of my beverage. I'm trying to save money and uh, it's so two years ago. Um, I just want something cold and fizzy here while I'm doing this. So yeah, I'm trying to save money and I really don't care about this, whether it's a soda or beer. So do me a favor. First, find out how many you have in your whole collection, right? And most of these, it, it's easy, but some of you, you, you probably can't even do that, let alone bring them out and if you thought about the ones you love or the ones that you strongly love or like. But most of you, I bet you can. So my results are I have 146 uh, total different perfumes. And then I fished out. I, after going back and forth, I counted 22 um, that I love. And then I started thinking about borderline and strong loves and whatever we'll just leave it at 22 and that if you divide this number by this number and then times it by 100 you come out you know to 15 15 percent there's my number um so just divide your loves by the total number you have and you'll come out with some point number 0.15 or 0.28 and 0.28 would be 28 percent if you have any trouble uh, let me know um so mine's 15 percent of my total um, collection are loves. So I wanted to know, in terms of you all out there, is that, uh, is that an average percentage? Is that an average number? Or is it high or is it low? Um, I didn't expect anything uh, when I, when I, uh, was doing the calculations 
but I was coming around 14 to a little bu bit above 15% um, after, uh, after getting them all out, putting them on a list and, uh, and dividing it out. So I bet maybe some of you out there have a 20% or as high as 25% of your collection now because you sold so many off or you started and you were very meticulous and you only have loves. You hear that a lot, right? I'm, I'm only getting loves from now on. Well, good luck to you. Let's see how, you know, you go from there because there's parts of your journey. I mean, there's trial and error, right? And then you sell off or some people don't like to sell any of their bottles. They just like to collect. Some people like me, I like to get rid of as I go along. I don't like to collect things. I don't like, I'm not a, what do you call it, a pack rat. And um, I know that I'm never going to use all this. So I just like to keep it kind of tidy and neat. Um, the number 146 seems like a big number. But when you look at it sometimes in the morning saying, I don't know, what do I want to wear? Uh, you know, can't get this out and you're bored and you're, you want something different. It can seem like a small amount. Um, but this is my... Uh, collection out here I'll take my tripod away and I'll handhold for instance like this one I could have I left that out until the last I love it I, I love it it's definitely if my life depended on it, it's definitely a strong like but compared to some of these out there that I love um, this has to be out here too so uh, one of Caroline's um, designers video. Just like this one, this quirky one here. Um, I love it. I love it more now than when I first got it. CH Privé. I love the tackiness. I love designer bottles and their tackiness. There's other reasons why you might love something. Maybe not just from wearing. Maybe you love the smell of it, but you don't like to wear it so much. But um, I can safely say I love all these and some of them are strong like, you know, so this is a strong like. Here's my favorite allure out of all of Chanel and it's Sensuel. Make sure you see that. Where does it say Sensuel? Six, there's Tiffany um, <laughs> you know this year I broke this out this past year and it just stayed hidden and it, it's from the beginning of my journey and everyone who paid attention back then knew about this or got this and I wish I got uh, two more of these and it turns out I love it I love it I love the, I smell Gucci Envy and I you know I wish I had it but this is mine. I love the genre that this represents. The late 90s has a little bit of the 80s in it, a tiny bit of the 80s. It's a 2000 something fragrance and it has the 90s in it. I don't know, that might be my favorite, like mid to late 90s to the early 2000s. This one I love smelling. I love smelling, I love the smell of it. I don't wear it very often. I don't even touch this bottle. I have decants of this. Um, I don't know. It, it's definitely my favorite uh, woman's uh, Chanel. Um, it's funny how I can make some observations here. And I was thinking I just put this one in today before the video started. I had 21. And then I said, wait a minute. If I this is in here and that, it, and this is not, because I know how much I love that. So, count up how many you have, right? How many total bottles? And then figure out, and let me know in the comments, figure out uh, what percentage of your total uh, wardrobe is a love. And I bet it. I bet some of you all have collections out there that are so big and you never sold anything, right? Think of some YouTubers out there and you never sold anything. Like people just weren't bothered and they, they just like to collect everything. Maybe it's like 
or lower than that of their collection. But um, if you're just uh, like me in the past, a YouTube watcher and a commenter and a fan, you have maybe a small amount of bottles to a little bit high and you can easily count it out. It, maybe it's about 20, as high as 25%, maybe. I wouldn't guess higher than 25. Then you guys with like 400 bottles, 500, you know, God bless you. I, I, you're probably gonna come out, maybe you'll come out with a number like uh, 6%, 5%, 9%. So there's the whole point of it. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so Iris Pudra, I'm wearing it now. It's obvious that I like Violet. It's obvious that I love Violet. Um, if it wasn't for this back then, I wonder, I could have worn this since it come out, like before my Fraghead days. And I would have been like, this is a little fancy and perfumey, but I like it. I could have worn this every day or every time. But um, let me know the percentage of how many loves you have. And like I said, it's tough to uh, sometimes delineate between the strong likes and the loves. And you do it the way you want. So for me, it's 15% of my collection. And that was the point I wanted to get across. In the meantime, I'll uh, think about this, put these away, and uh, and await uh, await some feedback. All right, appreciate it. Talk to you later. See you.